is happening in Akuru, where a family in Akuru, now headed by apparently four orphans, is pleading for support to foot a 2.1 million shilling bill that would allow them get their father's body for burial. The deceased Manasseh Waweru was diagnosed with diabetes type 2 and was admitted at the Memorial Hospital in Nakuru last year when public hospital nurses went on strike. Waweru was a widower and now his children are pleading for his body for burial. Alpha Lagat reports on the orphans unending tears. A somber mood reigns at the home of the late Manasseh Waweru in Kiamuni, Nakuru County. His four orphans yearning for an elusive sunny side of life. Before they could even get closure after their mother's demise a few years ago, death has again dropped them of their breadwinner. Waweru, who was a small-scale farmer, suffered diabetes, and his wife succumbed to cancer, leaving the family in a huge debt. It's been a struggle since most of the time ni sisi tumekuwa to take care of him, since most of the time the family was not around. Uh, and so the, the burden, yote ya the hospital bill, and the providence ya kiaki hospital, it was all upon us. The four children now grapple with a 2.1 million shillings bill out to Memorial Hospital in Nakuru, where their father has been undergoing treatment. We lost our dad about a month ago as a result of hypertension and diabetes. Ali, Ali admitted about around November last year. Um, after Amewezewa kwa nyumba, so we, we had to, to take him to hospital because the situation was bad. Akadmitiwa, alafu akaka hospitali, we did have, watuku wana fans za kumpeleka home. So alika until his demise, which is this year. So kama familia, sisi tumebaki hatuna anything. Hatuwezi manage kumpumzisha. Tunaomba well-wishers. Ama mwete mwenye kona uwezo atusaidia ndio tupumzisha baba yetu. The family's efforts have so far yielded a paltry 100,000 Kenyan shillings, even as they plead for the body for burial. Waweru's body has been detained at the hospital mortuary for over one month, with a multi-million bill standing between it and its final resting place. Elfas Lagat, KTN News. Well, thank you, Elfas Lagat, for highlighting that.